Today is Juneteenth, a federal holiday now in its second year commemorating the freedom of slaves in Texas in 1865, this two years and a half after the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. WRTV's Nico Panisi joins us live in studio with the significance of this day right here on the Hoosier State. N Nico, I'm fascinated by the story. Good morning to you. Good morning, Raphael. I sat down with historian Charlene Fletcher, who says, while many Americans recognize July 4th as Independence Day, for black Americans, it would be decades before they'd receive their freedom. Charlene Fletcher is a historian, educator, and writer. And this is American history. She works for the Center for Africana Studies at IUPUI and is the curatorial director at Connor Prairie Museum. Her focus is on 19th century black history. If we don't understand history, we are doomed to make the same mistakes over and over and over again. Monday is Juneteenth, a day to commemorate the freedom of enslaved black folks in America. It's celebrated on the anniversary of the order issued by Major General Gordon Granger on June 19, 1865 in Galveston, Texas. Fletcher says that day has ties to Indiana. Union troops who are coming in and letting people know this is over. Uh, what we don't often hear about is uh, the number, the scores actually, of U.S. colored troops who were in Galveston. Um, so it's black people giving black people the news. And not only that, some like the 28th Indiana came from right here in the Hoosier state. Hoosiers who are giving this word in 1865. And many members of that regiment returned to Indiana and settled uh, in Indianapolis uh, in a neighborhood that we now know as Norwood, uh, also in, uh, right across the railroad tracks in Barrington, Lovetown. While the day is a celebration of freedom, she says black Americans' freedom is being challenged every day. These attempts around the country to erase or to suppress black history. It's been presented under the term of critical race theory. This idea that we have to, if, if we can't sanitize black history, we have to eliminate it completely. Fletcher says people may find it difficult to discuss the harsh realities of black history. This Juneteenth and throughout the year, she encourages others to lean into that guilt or shame. Having a, a true conversation about historical actors, uh, a historical facts, uh, historical realities enables us to be able to have conversations so that our young people can help make this a better space as opposed to constantly going back to the drawing board as we've done for the past almost 250 years. And Fletcher is working on a book which explores how black women in prison challenged ideas of race and femininity. We'll have more information about that on our website, WRTV.com. Nico, take me into your reporter's dope book. As you did, began working on this story, what did you learn from it that you did not know before? You know, when we think about the Civil War, you think about the South, and, you know, this was happening in Galveston, Texas, but we had Hoosier uh, soldiers coming into Texas to give them the good news of freedom, and you wouldn't expect that. So that was something I learned during this story. Nico Panisi reporting. You can find his story on our website at WRTV.com. Thank you so much for that.